Today we are going to have an old-fashioned Smilodon showdown. One of the questions we often get is which is the best Smilodon figure? The answer to that question is, it depends. What we are going to do today is quickly review each of the Smilodons currently available from Papo, Mojo, Safari Limited, and Collect A. We are going to point out the main differences, give you sizing information, and also give you some sense of market pricing to provide you with the information you need to determine which is the best Smilodon for your needs and budget. As a reminder, all these figures are currently available on happyhentoys.com. The links are below. On another note, as we go through these figures, we are going to review them from highest price to lowest price using the manufacturer's MSRP. While this is not necessarily the price you will find them at in the market, it is a good comparison as to the relative value of the figure. So let's get started. First up is the Papo 55022, and this is one of two Papo Smile Dons that they have on the market at this time. This Smile Don has a length of six and a quarter inches and a height of two and a half inches. It has a very nice hunting pose, as you can tell by the forward motion. Very nice hair detail. Nice long teeth, as you would expect in a Smilodon. And overall, a very nice figure. It has an MSRP of $15, so it is actually one of the most expensive Smilodons available. But from Papo, as always, high quality and a very nice figure. Next up is the second Smilodon from Papo Roaring Smilodon, item number 55067. It has a length of six and a half inches, so slightly longer than the Smilodon that we just looked at, and a height of three and a half inches, so it does stand significantly taller. It also has a $15 MSRP, just like the last one that we looked at. So this is called the Roaring Smilodon. It's the tallest and longest of the five figures that we're going to look at today. It has the largest teeth, and it has great ribs and muscle definition. The paint scheme is very nice on the back legs with the stripes. It's not the typical Smilodon that you think of when you are thinking of Smilodons with the more lion-type look, but all in all, it is a very nice figure. Next up is the Smilodon from Collect A, and this is item number 88715. This is slightly smaller than the figures that we just looked at with a length of 4.75 inches and a height of three inches. It has a MSRP of $12, so it is slightly less expensive than the Papo one figures that we just looked at. One thing to note is this is actually a retired figure, so quantities are limited. And once they are gone, they will be gone. We have been trying to get more of them and Collect A is all out of them but uh, we still will keep trying. But this is a retired figure. You'll notice that the hair detail on this figure is a little bit better than you saw on the Papo figures. Uh, all in all, a very nice figure. Next up is the Mojo 387048. It has a length of four and a half inches and a height of two and a half inches. So it is still slightly smaller than the ones that we just looked at. It has Probably the least motion of any figure that we've looked at. It seems to really kind of just be standing there, but it is the most striped paint job of any of the Smilodons. It does have some very nice teeth in it. The yellow eyes kind of stand out. And all in all, a decent figure from Mojo with its $9 MSRP. It is a cost saver if this is the route that you choose to go. And last, from Safari Limited, we have the 279729, length of 4.25 inches and a height of 2.6 inches. This is the lowest cost Smilodon that you will find on the market. It has an MSRP of only $7. All in all, very nice figure for its price. It is a smaller figure, as I said, but has nice striping, nice teeth, nice mouth, and overall a good value. So where does that get us? Right now on the screen is a summary chart of our findings, which has the item numbers and the lengths and heights, so you can see which figures are bigger or smaller than the other ones, and the MSRPs. Overall, we like the Papo Roaring Smilodon. It's the tallest and longest of the five figures, and it definitely is the most unique figure with its lion styling. Collect A, 
We voted it the best traditional Smilodon. We really like the hair and fur detail on that figure. We think that makes it stand out a little bit. Again, that is a retired item. So if you are thinking of that item, you should get that sooner rather than later. And then the best value, we gave that to the Safari LTD figure. While it is the smallest, it is the lowest cost. If you just need a Smilodon for some sort of diorama and aren't as concerned about the specific quality, that is the figure that you can go with as you can save quite a bit of money. So if you like what you saw today, please give us a thumbs up. If you disagree with any of our conclusions or want to recommend which species we should do next, please leave a comment below. And if you want to see more of these comparison videos, please subscribe and ring the bell as we will be making more of them shortly. And lastly, all of these figures are available at HappyHenToys.com, one of the largest distributors of dinosaur figures in the United States. The links are below. And thanks for watching.